The election interference case in Georgia will take a major step forward today. On your right is a live look at the Fulton County Jail. This is where former President Trump is expected to surrender today. His supporters already out in full force this morning. As you can see in the video on the left hand side of your screen, more of his co-defendants have been turning themselves in this week ahead of tomorrow's deadline. Let's get over to Teo Torres who joins us now with more on today's proceedings and what they'll look like. A lot of his co-defendants, Trump will appear at the Fulton County Jail today. He will also have a booking photo taken. That's a historic first. This after Trump's team and prosecutors negotiated his $200,000 bail. It bars him from intimidating other co-defendants, witnesses, or victims in this case. Trump is expected to go through the normal booking process, but won't be there long. He'll post bail and be released until his arraignment hearing in early September. He'll join nine other indicted co-conspirators who have surrendered. Those include Rudy Giuliani, Sidney Powell, John Eastman, Kenneth Chesborough, Jenna Ellis, and Ray Smith III. All are current or former Trump attorneys, along with fake elector David Schaefer and poll watcher Scott Hall and a former Georgia Republican Party leader, Kathy Latham. Now, nine remaining defendants have until tomorrow to turn themselves in. All are accused of attempting to help Trump overturn Georgia's 2020 election results. Trump and his 18 co-conspirators are facing a total of 41 charges. Each defendant is charged with at least one count of racketeering, which is usually used to charge members of organized crime. Back to you.